All right, let's talk about Sony. Come on. Don't get don't tell me talking about wuzzles. Uh Geppetto. See, I could read this one finally. I was listening to a CADcast from a few years ago. It was day one, E3 2014, I think. And Cheapy and Shipwreck played Eve Valkyrie and raved about the Oculus and Eve. It wasn't Wombat's thing. He was like, meh. Cheapy said I would buy an Oculus just for Eve. I remember you guys loving it. What caused the major change from loving the direction of VR to basically vilifying it and basically calling it a gimmick? You guys have been really hard on VR. It does seem weird. There's been a lot. Of, I've been consistent. You've been consistent. Nobody's complaining about Wombat, really. But there have been a lot of messages like this, and messages saying uh, in the show in the in the show thread saying that at least one of us should get PSVR because, like, we owe it. Not to, it. <laughs> because we owe it to the listeners, and I owe. I usually have. You know, this, uh, I usually don't read the comments. And I made the mistake of reading the comments, and it got to me. And I went out and I bought a PlayStation VR. And I didn't tell you about Did it. Did you really? And I didn't tell you about it. I've been keeping it a secret. And actually, somebody caught me because I didn't, I didn't, uh, turn off my online status. So they caught me doing one of the VR demos. Uh, so I had to like, they caught me on Twitter and they were like, they called me out and I had to like silence them. So, uh, so yeah, I've had it for a couple of days now and I can, I can give you a full report. I will say, and? and I, I, I bought it specifically so I could talk about it on the cat cast, not because I thought I needed it also because I wanted to play res area X in, in, uh, in VR. So I'll say this, I'll, I'll give some, some compliments where they're due. It was extremely easy to set up. All the cables are numbered with stickers on them and i would say one through 75 nope it was it's one through five i believe and it i mean less than 10 minutes to put the whole to, from opening the box to set up um it's pretty much foolproof uh, I, I already had the camera so i the only one that you could find was the 400 hundred dollar version and that's the one i got that's where my 25 dollars in reward certificates went ship um so yeah i was very impressed with how easy it was to set up uh i will say that in terms of the actual unit itself it's very comfortable but i have to work very hard to make sure that light doesn't come in from the sides like it's best at night when you don't have to make sure the rubber flaps are blocking out all the light uh maybe that i have a weird shaped face but that's just the way it is um but it's easy to adjust it's even – I had Mrs. Chibi try it on and she played through Res. Uh, she, you know, she was able to adjust. She wears glasses. She found it pretty comfortable. Uh, I will say Res Area X is amazing and it's really the perfect VR experience because it doesn't – they figured out how to make you feel like you're flying without the motion sickness in this game because – now, when you use the VR controls for Res, you don't use the sticks at all. It's all head movement, and you're shooting with X. You know, you're locking on and or and letting go with X, uh, and you use the shoulder buttons to to fly or stop. Uh, and you can play through the original levels like that too, without the flying part, but just the all the head tracking instead of sticks. And it works fantastic. It works great. They must have tweaked it somehow. I don't know what, but it works. It works great. But the Area X is actually made just for VR. And it's just a, it's the perfect demonstration of VR, especially since I think their headset is a little bit blurry. The resolution's not that high. And because of the, the, the res type graphics, it just, it, it fits perfectly. It doesn't seem blurry. It seems like the blurry is a feature. Uh, Mrs. Chibi played through that level and she got to the end. She didn't, she didn't clear it. She died at the end. Uh, but she really liked it. That being said, she had all the same complaints that Shipwreck has had since day one. Everything that Shipwreck has ever said about VR, about being locked in and blocking out the family, she brought up the next morning when we were talking about, when she asked me, do you want to know my opinions on VR? <laughs> uh, she sounded like Shipwreck, basically. But she did like it. What do you think? I, all my, none of my opinions have changed either. 
I think that there's some there's going to be some some really good experiences there. I mean, this but this I don't know that how many there are. So there's Res, and I'll tell I'll say this: if you want to know if Sony is serious about supporting PlayStation VR, and unfortunately, I think we already have the answer, and the answer is no because. Where's the announcement of Res 2 or Res VR or just a full game of Res levels made for VR? Because I can't really imagine a game better suited to demonstrate this. And to be honest, I don't think it costs that much money to make a Res game. You know, it's not like they're making Grand Theft Auto here. I, I you know, I made it through the credits. It, they weren't that long. And if you don't hear Sony announcing this, I would be worried. The longer it takes for them to announce this, the more that I'd be worried that there's any games coming in the near future. Uh, I also, I played Thumper. That also, that's another music game. And I mm-hmm. I did enjoy it a lot more in VR than I did uh, just, I don't know, what do you call non-VR? Standard? Reality. Standard. <laughs> Regular reality? Reality. <laughs> Actual reality? Actual reality, AR. I, I found that I actually did better in the game with the headset on than without uh, and just enjoyed it more. Uh, and again, these are games where you're not, there's not a lot of motion going on. I mean, because then I tried, I had the, it comes with the demo disc, and I tried Rigs, which is the esports, well, not esports, but sports game with, 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 uh, mechs. And I could not play that for even a minute. Like, as soon as, I mean, I played through, like you're getting into the mech and that was all fine and they're teaching you some stuff. As soon as the game started and you got out onto the field and you're moving and you're looking around and it's just like, oh, no. <laughs> and you're, you know, you're flying up through the air at certain points. No. Just no. I was like, this is not going to end are you well. gonna get, uh Are you going to get Star Wars? What's that? Oh. Uh, for the PlayStation 4 now? Oh, maybe. I guess I see. I guess I can. But yeah. See, the whole world is my also, oyster now. What about Batman? Are you gonna go for that one too? I don't think I don't know about Batman. I tried E Valkyrie, the demo, which is like ridiculously short. It's you know it's it's pretty impressive. It's not you know the, re- the it's a bummer that the the head the headset resolution is not that as high as the other headsets. And it's a, you know what I like about you getting this. What's, what's that? You can try it. I can try it. Yeah. So I'm all I'm on board. Um, what, what else did I try? I tried something else that made me very sick. Uh, VR Worlds, which just downloaded as soon as I hooked this thing up. So I guess it's free. Uh, there was some platformer in there where, oh God, I'm getting nauseous just thinking about it. You're, I don't know, you control like a little robot running around, like a remote control, but you're walking forward as you're controlling the robot. I don't know. It was just, I, that one, I couldn't rip that off my head fast enough. Uh, but I will say, I mean, the the res thing is amazing, and I would I would demonstrate that to anybody who would who would want to try it, and I I wouldn't worry about them getting sick. Uh, you can get really far through it without having to be good, which I think is important. Once you get to the very end, you have to really understand the flying aspect. I think to 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 clear it, but. Uh, I'm just worried that there's there's not going to be too many of these experiences that are really worth having and I don't know. But people I feel like the people who have it and from the comments that I've read, they I feel like they're they're fine spending four hundred dollars just to have that res experience. They feel like they get they have value out of that. So I don't know. I did it for the listeners. That's all. Ty, you didn't ask me what Ty thinks about it. What does Ty think about it? Ty doesn't know that I bought it because I just unplug it for, and I put it in the closet when I, when Ty comes home from school. So he doesn't know. And uh, he hasn't noticed the little mini PlayStation on top of the other PlayStation. So, yeah. And I haven't really decided if, I, if he should be allowed to try it or not. It's not. It couldn't hurt, right? Like a couple minutes. I'm sure he'd be fine to play a couple of minutes. He'd, he'd probably be fine. I'm sure he would be. Uh, so I'll be talking more about it in the future as I play more. But yeah, I'm serious about that res thing, though. If you don't, if they don't announce that shit soon, be worried that there's any more VR games coming that haven't been announced already. Uh, what else we got? Anything? Is everybody tired? Everybody ready for bed? 
Did I put you to sleep with that VR talk? Pretty much. A little bit. That's cool. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I'm sure Camp and Kev is going to be excited that he's coming to visit and stay with me for a couple of days. So now he can play with VR. I, mean, I think that's that's a lot of the appeal of the people that have these are just like, so when people come over, they can slap this thing on their head. Pretty much. It wasn't as big of a hassle as I thought it would be. I'll, I'll say that as well. I over-exaggerated the the cable situation and just the hassle, the whole hassle thing. Like I can literally plug it in and hide it, in, un- unplug it and put it in the closet and hook it up again, like super easy. It's just two two things that slide right in. Um, Yeah. Good. We did it, guys. We bought things and talked about them. Ta-da. We didn't need a review, co- a review copy. We did it all on our own. Well, you didn't. I didn't. <laughs> right. We know somebody who didn't get one. We do. We do. We are not going to talk about that. Oh, though. we're not going to talk about that. I did not ask for one of those, nor would I. That I that, I that takes balls before. to ask for one of those. Yeah. Like you, no, I wouldn't do that. You have to really be, that has to be your job for real. Not a not yeah. fake wombat job. No. All right, let's wrap it up. Move controllers? No. Move controllers as well. I did not get the move controllers, but I saw that they're $25 used at GameStop. I just don't know what I would use them for at this point. I don't, I still don't know what other games I should get. And something happened on my demo disc where I can't play demos of certain games like Super Cube or something, Hyper Super Cube. Does it need the move controllers? No. Oh, I don't know. It, you think it might tell you that? I don't. I don't think so. No, I mean it won't even let you tr- start the demo. There's no. It only lets oh, you buy the game. The option never to, change. No, what I'm saying, there's no way to play it. it. It would say you need move controllers to play this. I'm assuming. I don't know. I shouldn't assume anything. You assume a lot. Right. Anyway, so I did never say I didn't do anything for the listeners. Listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad it didn't have to be me this time. Right. And now, by the way, you're gonna you're gonna be our switch guy. <laughs> yeah, I'll be. I, I will volunteer to be the switch guy because I. You're the, you're the I guy. see, I see a place for that in my lifestyle, where I'm having my roof parties. Right. <laughs> see, I you can. It does show the game on the TV when you're playing in VR. So I was watching Mrs. TV play Res uh, Area X fine on the tv the problem is she has no idea like what i'm doing i could walk out of the room while she's playing and come back five minutes later she'd have no idea she's into the game it's not really a social experience even if you can watch it on the tv that's the issue right. that's what mrs cheapy there's still up. a there's a better chance of me getting a switch than a vr yeah i would know i mean it's hard to recommend for anybody to spend this type of cash on something like that you know we've talked about it to death we don't need to go yep we made it to the end and i kept my secret from you guys it was very kind of it was what do you you, mean? you did you did just flat out say in our chat that you were going to best buy to to buy no i didn't but i didn't buy it though i didn't buy it then I said I, I I didn't say that. I never said that. Wombat, well, did I say that? I I honestly don't pay attention to most of what you per- said. Perfect. <laughs> you said it, and I and I I didn't respond to it. I'm like, eh, I, he might be joking, but he probably is actually going there. I'm not going to talk him out of this. I didn't. I didn't. I think when I said that, I didn't. I hadn't done it at the time. I bought it on Tuesday. 